way here! DCWL fails! This is scary. The V Extreme. And I'm back. And this is going to be an awesome episode as always. And we got some nice matches lined up for you. Right now, we're going to be having Shaquille O'Neal taking on Lewis Payne. The returning Lewis Payne. And I mean, we all know Lewis Payne from being in DCWL domination, but that group has strictly been left to Macho Jeff and Zangy as I guess they had a falling out. And now we are left with that team. And yeah, and Lewis Payne has decided to reinvent himself again. Used to being Larry O'Leone. But he is changed and now he's taking on Shaquille O'Neal who just hit a suplex on him. And one has to believe that in terms of wrestling ability, Lewis Payne has an advantage. I mean, Shaq did have that WrestleMania Battle Royal experience, but he wasn't really in there long enough. And... He did have that match with Cody Rhodes, which is pretty much his only match, officially. But yeah, these are two individuals that, I mean, Shaq is no doubt the bigger and bigger man, both height and even body-wise, like weight-wise. But I mean. Lewis Payne definitely has the experience of being a scoop slam by Shaq and now punching away at his face. But, like I said, Lewis Payne, this, he's reinvented himself again. And, oh, right, hit the shoulder. And that's really, that's Dave's Lewis Payne. And so it's going to be amazing, it's going to be interesting to see what Lewis Payne can do. But this reinvented self of his against Shaq and Wade, he just picked up an, oh, shoulder block. Show breaker and oh, Shaq just hits Lewis Payne. He's on the apron and punch. And we should be receiving word from Duke Nukem and Olivia Benson tonight on what's going on with their thing with Joan of Arc also included. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes and. Thanos is going to be in action tonight against Parappa the Rappa. And I'd like to imagine that if Parappa wins, he would get he'd be next in line for a shot. That is sort of how it works here in BCW. Oh, what a punch sending Lewis Payne down. And now Shaq going behind in a back suplex. And of course, our main event tonight is going to be to see who is the number one contender. For the DCWL Titan Champion, the newly introduced, well, repackaged Titan Championship, and it's going to be Sora versus Ed Cool. And now, oh, backbreaker! And all oh, just punching away at the face of Shaq. And low blow blocked by Lewis Payne. Oh, and a punch right to the back. And now, oh, Shaq's feeling it. He's being cocky. And now grabbing him a single leg Boston Crab. Laying all that weight on the back of Lewis Payne. And now chop block. And now again another back suplex. And Shaq once again. He's feeling it. He's taunting away. And now, wait a minute, he grabs him. Wait, blocked. Shaq grabs him and now Irish whip. And Grabs him, and oh no, Lewis Payne stops it, and oh, and ends it. Lewis Payne doing well to try to avoid Shaq and try to keep a distance in some ways. I mean, which is smart because Shaq, like I said, is a bigger man. And now, great, grab him from behind, and atomic drop. I mean, Shaq does have fighting experience. He was in Shaq Fu. He does know martial arts. So, I mean, there's an... Oh, man, look at the strength of Lewis Payne just tossing Shaq in here. And now that arm bar. And get 
block, and now, all oh, that chop right to the chest, sending Shaq down. Grabs him in, going to the back, and another back suplex. I mean, it should also be known that Shaq is an older man. He is retired from basketball. So, I mean, his steps might be out of there. And now, wait a minute. Oh, ground oh, pushing it down. And that's right. Wait a minute. Pinfall. One. One. Two. Two. No. Down count two. two. Man. And, I mean, it's been a while since we've seen Lewis Payne. This is his first time back in this new, really branded DCWL with the NCWL roster loosely attached to it. Now all oh, big punches to the face. I mean, we have a lot of interesting matches that are going to be coming up at our new pay-per-view slash CPV Hardcore Resurrection. And, I mean, yeah. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, Five. Five. I mean, we got already most of the matches booked. We're going to see Michael Vick take on Jack Jacksepticeye in the main event. In which, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I think Jack is going to get crushed. But, I mean, he did win a match to get there to become the number one contender. So, I mean, he does definitely have some fighting ability. And he does have video game beats to go off of. So, I mean, never say never. And Shaq is now on the apron, comes back in. And now, oh, scoop slam. And now, wait a minute. Grabs him in. Oh, STF. Going to STF right onto Shaq. Is he going to tap out? No. Shaq manages to get out of it. And oh, low blow. Remember, referee discretion. And the referee doesn't mind low blows. And now all oh, Shaq is just taunting away, and now, wait, grabs him in now, wait, Northern Lights suplex, pin, one, one, two, oh, not even a two count, just a one, grabs him in, go from behind, and, oh, man, I don't even know what to call that, like, there was like a saving grace, but overextended, and wait a minute, going from behind again, and again, doing it, and Shaq is dazed, I mean, I've got that, Shaq is like, I don't know, he's, He's well up there and turns away, I think, 400 pounds, maybe 350 or something. But, I mean, he's a big man. And Larry o and, well, formerly Larry Leone, now Lewis Payne, he's uh, all business, and he's showcasing his strength against the bigger man, like Shaq and Noebbin, going from behind. Wait a minute, going reverse again, and now, wait a minute. Oh, back suplex pin. One, One two. two. Oh, count, count two. two. I got a two count there. A drop Shaq run on the back of his head. I mean, Lewis Payne has been showing a great amount of streak. One minute. Roll up. From the power bomb. Is One, two, two, three. three. Lewis Payne wins. Man, what, what a surprise roll up. Man, what a great match. I mean... Lewis Payne, I think, played it safe there. He, he stayed distant for a while. And he used his athleticism, as you see in the replay, to roll Shaq up into that pin. What a great win. And now we move on to our next match of the night, which is going to be Mystery Inc., which consists of Fred and Shaggy taking on Big Pete Wrigley and Little Pete Wrigley. And I mean... This is going to be a good match. I can't wait to see, like, just how interesting this match goes. And, yeah. And there was Mystery Inc. And now we got our next people up for the night. Big Pete Wrigley and Little Pete Wrigley. The two Pete's. Fight! And now... Fred is in the room, and they're just looking at each other away. And oh, what a hit! And ooh, chop, grabs it, man. Oh, 
Hit it right to the face. And... Oh, another one right to the face. And now... All that spinning kick. But... Run managed to, to get out of it. And all hit. Yeah, Little Pete's on the outside and so is Shaggy. This is the bit. Oh, it oh man, what a misdirection there. Shaggy got knocked onto the, the announcer's table. And now Irish Whip and... Oh, what a springboard right to the... Springboard to the back and now... Wait a minute. Grabbing him and... Oh, punch right to the face. And low blow blocked. Big P and Freddy going at it. It's going to be interesting to see what these two teams can do. Now, oh wait, now that's some tag team action now where Little Pete just had had grabbed on to... And now again, he grabbed on to Fred. Holding his arms back and now... Oh, headbutt. And now again, he has to get out of that corner and now Little Pete is in. And now, oh, go for a suplex, but it's blocked. And Big P gets suplexed. I mean, one can't deny that Fred and Shaggy have much more experience as teammates. But I mean, you could also make the argument that one can't make the others bond like these two. And Shaggy and Big P are just out there beating the shit out of each other. And now, oh, I hit right and sitting Little Pete down. And now, grabs a man. Ooh, just flip him like that. And low blow block by Little Pete. And now we make ground go behind and back suplex. And now Little Pete's being sent to the outside. One, and now this can start the count. Two. He's at two and now three. three. Now we make what's he gonna do? Four. And Little Pete sends Fred back. Five. And I mean Shaggy and Big Pete are, are fighting like hell out the side. Dropping each other on the outside multiple times. And now all oh, low blow by Shaggy. Now oh what a big hit by Fred. And going behind it and oh what a back scratch. A back rate. And a hit and oh swinging net breaker. And now grabs at him. And I mean, oh that photo bomb! Pinfall! That could be it. One and only a one count. But that did take a lot out of little Pete. And now, wait a minute, a Baldo bomb on himself! Onto the floor! And all oh, of it. And now it grabs him and an atomic drop. Man. This is pretty back action, fast paced action match now. And now. Wait a minute, what's he doing? And oh, an insecurity. Yeah, sorry for missing out on one episode. I was dealing with the cold. And my voice was shit. An elbow dropped to the head. Now I'm recovering from that. I mean, when you have asthma like how I do, these. the slightest illness. Can, can really F me up. Especially if it, 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 Oh, I think he was going for belly belly, but Fred reversed it. And now, oh, taking him down. Low blow block. And Little Pete and Fred are just going at it. Hit, sending Little Pete back. And now another running net breaker. Fred lifts him up. And what's he going to do? Oh, wait, he's going. Oh, he's tagging in Shaggy. And Shaggy is the fresh man in the match. Well, I mean, him and Big Pete are beating the shit out of each other on the outside, but 
This is his first time as a legal man. And now, oh, what a hit. Right from back. That clothesline. And now win it. Reverse 3D. And, wait a minute, another double power bomb right over the knee. Little Pete's getting taken advantage of. And now grabs at him and hit right to the back. And a running net breaker. And now, I mean, they got 60 seconds. That's how the rule. Wait a minute, pinfall. One, One two, two, the count, count two. two. Man, oh, roll up, but that doesn't matter. Let me get back to the action the ring. Little Pete and Shaggy fighting out now. Suplex and now Splash. Now Irish Whip into the ropes and oh, another springboard. Just putting all this back weight onto Shaggy and now we make from behind and another atomic drop. And now, oops. What's he doing? Oh, oh, the run out this is from Little Pete. Just, and now he tags back in Big Pete. And, oh, that sends Shaggy right One, out the ring with that. Two. Oh, man. He, he, three, he, he jumped right out of the ring and he missed. Four, now five, that leg lock, and it's at a six. Six. Seven. And at an eight. Eight. Choking Fred out in the ring. And then Laylock and Fred finally breaks it up with Big Pete. And now, wait a minute, grabbing him and what's going on? Atomic drop. We have Fred taking on Big Pete and Shaggy and Little Pete fighting. Grabbing him and all oh, dueling opposites back suplexes and a drop kick same Fred so I mean, oh man what an overhead like Samoan drop and a hit right to the face and now choking in a leg lock and a heel hook and Fred gets Big Pete and oh a flat jump now wait a minute they're taunting away it looks like they're gonna might go on duel and move or something, but I mean, nope. Hit to the face of Big Pete, and now Little Pete with a back suplex. Hit and kick right in the face, and now they're going back into their respective corners. And now Irish Whip, and oh, he was going to hit a spear, and Shaggy just moved out of the way. Surprised him too for a brief period of time, and ooh, hit and down, and now. We got Fred. Fred's back in, and he's going to be taking on Big P again. And now, wait a minute. That hit sent him back. And now, wait a minute. Chop grabs at him, and wait a minute. Roll up. One. One. Two. Oh, not even a two count on that one. Surprise, not a two count. It's we're eight minutes into the match. Almost at nine minutes. And, ooh, Little P gets out, and now. One. Now both members of Two. Big and Little Pete Wrigley. Three. Matches, they're out. And the count's four. at four now. Five. Five. And six. I mean, they got a of ten to work with. Seven. And seven. And now, ooh, like that. They're jumping at that shoulder barge at Fred and now. Wait a minute. Oh, what a hit. And he was trying to knock Fred off, but it didn't work. Hit, punch, and now, oh, what a running net breaker. And grabs at him, and wait a minute. Oh, and, uh, oh man, that, I think that his finisher, he said that finisher on Shaggy on the outside twice. And that's on his face on the outside, and now, wait a minute. Oh no, grabs him and the hip toss him out in it. It looks like Big Pete Wrigley. He's calling for something. He grabs him and. Oh! That reverse STO. Pinfall. One, One two, two, three! three.
in. That is it. The Wrigleys have won this match. They've beaten Mr. In. And what a good showing from both teams. An awesome match. They, neither team have anything to be ashamed of, but, but that was the first STO sitting Fred to his face got it. Man, good match. I wonder what we have up for next. Duke, you think you can just waltz in as a referee and get away with laying us out? You're nothing but a sexist creep hiding behind that smug attitude. Oh, please, Olivia. You're not exactly my type of babe. You and Joan can whine all you want, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm still standing. You think this is over? Joan and I are coming for you, and we want to get our hands on you in that ring. I'd love to see you try, but you know what? Why don't we spice things up a bit? I could easily take both of you down, but how about I give someone else a shot to team up with a king like myself at the pay-per-view Hardcore Resurrection? Oh, really? And who's that going to be? Now that's the fun part. It's going to be a surprise. Just know that when we step into that ring, it'll be your worst nightmare. You can count on it, Duke. No surprise is going to save you from the beating that's coming your way. Joan and I will be ready. All right. Man, what development. I mean, we're going to have a surprise match. Well, a surprise guest tag team partner from Duke Nukem facing Olivia Benson and Joan of Arc. And now, this match following is Thanos versus Parappa the Rappa. And, I mean, Thanos is the Titan Champion. And he's been a dominant champion. He's been knocking people out, pinning people. And he dominated Spike Lee. And he defeated Daniel Bradson and re-Christianed the Cruddyweight title as the Titan Championship. And, I mean, let's see how Parappa the Rappa does. And now, they went for the hip toss reverse. And now, wait a minute. Those punches right to the face again. Well, I mean, you've seen those punches in the past. And they've been brutal. Now, oh, but Parappa managed to withstand it. And now he grabbing him and... A chop right to the chest, sending Thanos down, and Thanos it is not enjoying this. And again, these punches right to the face of Parappa. Man, Parappa got some offense initially. Now, wait a minute. Again, these punches right to the face. And, wait a minute, grabbing him, going from behind. And, oh, that clothesline right to the back. You've seen that too. And Parappa got up and was barely standing. And now, wait a minute. Oh, I, oh man, no, no. Oh, Parappa got knocked Not out. And it's 51 seconds. God damn, Thanos just completely... I mean, Parappa got some offense on the initial. Got like three moves in. But Thanos just was a domineering force and just kept on barraging him with the moves. Until he eventually knocked him out. And now what? Thanos wants, what are you going to do, Thanos? What are you doing? He just throws Parappa out. Looks like he wants to address the crowd. Is this all DCWL has to offer? In less than a minute, I erased Parappa the rapper from existence in this ring. And you expect me to care about who wins tonight's main event to face me next. It doesn't matter. Whoever steps up to challenge for my Titan Championship will fall just like him. They can fight, claw, and scratch their way to the top, but it will make no difference. I am inevitable, and just like Parappa, the next one will learn that the hard way, let them come. I don't care who it is, their fate is already sealed. They will bow before the Titan, or be crushed beneath my power. Man! Thanos with a dominating performance, and he's sending a message to whoever wins this main event to fight him. I mean, it's either going to be Ed Kuehl or Sora. And, man, what a dominating performance from Thanos. And our next match is Mrs. Mudo taking on, taking on Ezra Scarlet. And, yeah, 
I mean, words are failing to come out of my mouth based on what had just happened. Parappa is no, I mean, he is a dog, a lightweight dog, but you've seen him tank a lot. And I mean a lot of punishment in his games. And he just got creamed in that match with Thanos. Thanos has been dominating, and now Iris Whip reverse into the corner. And, yeah. This, you know, I'm going to take some time for me to get my words back in my head. Because I'm really speechless from what happened. But I'm going to go on. And now, all punches from Ezra Scarlet. And she's bringing them in, but Mrs. Mudo is just blocking a lot of it, and now all oh, the low blow block. Ezra, now Miss Mudo trying to get some offense, and she gets a shot down. Grabs him and suplex. Got it. Sitting her down. Now hit reverse, and now we went. He's going to get and, and drop him right in the Dropping that elbow right in the that low blow block. Grab her and Irish whip. And no, Ezra stops that. And now she's taunting him out. Mrs. Moore is taunting back. And now again, now they're just taunting at each other. And oh, the kissing. Taunting that even. Oh, a slap. So this move down. Oh, missed that back flip. Chop. Hit. Chop. Drop reverse and now reverse and all oh, that slaps and Ezra down. Low blow. Keep going from behind and oh, I mean this is the one show away from Hardcore Resurrection. This is the final show. And I mean, yeah. It's all oh, over. Back suplex. Grabbing her and scoop slam. Low blow. Wait, wait, whoa. Whoa. Oh, not even a one count. It didn't I mean Miss Moore was quickly able to to kick out, but it did take a lot of out of her now. Chop break the chest. And now, oh, trying to go for those hits and Miss Moodle showing some good defensive game. But now, oh, they're ramming her shoulder right into her. We're done now, wait a minute. Single leg Boston crab. And low blow blocked. And now, slap it. They're slapping her again, reverse. And Keeps going and again. Man, they're going back and forth, seeing who's going to get it. And oh, finally, Mrs. Mudo wins that exchange. Grabbing her from behind and oh, dropping her. Right in the low blow block. And now going from behind and oh, he's breaking the back. And oh, what a jumping again. Jumping Centon right to the back. Jumping, and now wait a minute. Again going right on that knee. We go to and head scissors twirl. And now what's Ezra Scarlet gonna do? Low blow blocked. Chopping, and now wait a minute. Oh no. Headlock taken. Grab me. Hit. Slap. Chop and now wait a minute. Oh, slap seeing her the the apron. Now wait a minute. Oh. Oh no! Moonsault. One. I think she's trying to take her down and Oh Three. again they miss it. Both Three. of them miss serious moves. I think she was hoping to moonsault her out on while she was on the Thick. apron and 
Bush going with Chanel and Miss Moore trying to get in anymore. It's lucky that they're both up. And they both got in at the count of seven. That does show some toughness in both their arms. Now dropping the weight, all that weight on the leg. And now another one. all that weight on down the leg. And now drop kick. No drop kick. Grabs the man, one from behind, and throwing her to the eight. What? Outside. And now they know what you're doing. And oh! Three! Man, Miss Luda Four! Moved. Five! She didn't get all of that. I don't think she got any of that. Six! Seven! Seven! And all that kick the walk and wait. Eight! Wait a minute, We've got two seconds left to get back in the ring. Nine! Nine. And all oh, Miss Luda got in there. That was close. We have roll up. One. One. Two. two. Oh, no, count of two. I mean, we had a match that ended by roll up and what a cartwheel at Ezra. Both these girls showing their athleticism here tonight. And the ball in the Kicking now. Oh, big scissors. Kicking really good. A hit right to the face. And now, wait a minute, what's she gonna do? Pump her in. Leg drop! From the, the top rope. Top rope leg drop, and Miss Mudo's day. She's barely getting up. Now hit, she's tied to the ropes, and now a spinny kick. See Miss Mudo's out, she is dazed. Two. That starts to count, and all oh, that spinny kick got caught. Four. And that's at a four. Five. And oh, what a slap. Seeing this way down, and now Ezra gets back in the ring. Seven. It's a seven. Miss Mu has eight. to get back in the ring, and she does it. Oh, and now, wait a minute. Grabs her and drops her all the way down the leg. And now, all oh, hit. hit. Oh, that leg sweep. Not leg sweep. Not all flipping sometimes. Man, what a back and forth matchup and a sweep slam. And oh, just banging her head right off the mat. I mean, these women have to, they're throwing almost everything at each other, trying to, for one, showcase their athleticism, but also showcase their mentality. Now, another drop kick sent down, and another one of those, those flipping sentons. And oh, a kick, kicking the legs out. Uh, Ezra. And all that spin kick sent her down. And all that moon salt, that lion salt missed. That running kick, I mean, flip kick. And now, oh, that flip kick got her, but didn't send her down. And now, wait a minute. Back break. Going from behind. And a oh, kick in there right over the top ropes. And that's at a, the, the two. at two. And she quickly comes back in the ring. And chop, chop again. And man, Mrs. Mudo is going all at it. She is throwing everything out there. Now, wait a minute, she's going to the top. What's she doing? And, oh, she misses that splash. Wow. Ezra is telling me that she should not do that. Mrs. Mudo is fired up. Now Irish whip reversed. And now all oh, just tossing her over her head. And now, ooh, what a kick right in the face. And oh, now that lion salt hit. And now grab her. Women punch. These punches, rapid punches by Mrs. Mudo has been throwing those his entire match. Showing her energy and all oh, work backwards. And now, wait, pinfall. One, two, and all oh, count two. Now, chops. This move with those furious strikes, and now she sends Ezra to the outside. One, now, one. count is starting. Two. And now, wait a minute. Oh, she threw that. A big, just throwing herself out there and it didn't work. Five. Again, I think they're getting one of those. Six. Got a six. 
seven. Seven. And oh, I didn't get it. Drop kick, drop kick again. And again, one of those flipping sentons. Grab him. That slap reversed. Slap reversed. Now they're going once again back at it. Who's going to win this time? And keep going. And oh, this time Ezra wins. And another drop kick sending Mrs. Mudo down. Grabbing her. And wait a minute. No. And again, Mrs. Mudo sends Ezra to the outside. One. And Two. again, she misses that. Three. I don't know what Four. she's trying to prove, but Five. she keeps missing it. For a six, six, and then she comes back in. Drop it. Drop it away around the leg. And, oh, what a trying to sweep the leg out, but it's in the, it's in the back of that. And an Irish whip. And drop down and off oh, the head. Wait a minute, what you doing? Going to the top and oh, she's going for a leg drop, but it didn't work. Miss me a move. Now, wait a minute, figure four. She's going to hit the. She has the figure four leg lock locked in. Is Ezra going to tap out? This is one of our longest matches of the night and punches and oh she's looking for a spin kick but Ezra stopped that with a slap and now wait a minute what's she doing springboard and drop kick what athleticism by Ezra and now that flipping senton again both of these ladies showing their their high risk maneuverability now low blow block and now wait a minute chop that spin kick sent this move down. And Lion Saul. Once again. Drop kick, but this move will telegraph that. Now wait a minute. What's happening? Oh, kicking her leg out. And now wait a minute. Ezra, what's she gonna do? Going for the top and wait a minute, what's she Oh she hit the moonsault! Right from the top! Grabbing her and now twist the thing. Pinball. One, One, two, three. Pinball. Ezra Scarlet wins. Man, what a good back and forth. And man, you can't take anything away from these two ladies. They brought it all. They threw out all their high flying moves, and but in the end, Ezra Scarlet manages to pull out a good victory man and now we move on to our main event match where we got Sora versus Ed Kuehl a returning Ed Kuehl and the winner of this match will decide who goes on to face Thanos for the Titan Championship and Thanos fought earlier against Parappa the Rapper and it didn't go well for Parappa. Parappa lost in less than a minute. But I mean, so I mean that's what these two have to contend with. Which one of them is going to fight? Going to go on to face Thanos at Hardcore Resurrection? Now Irish Whip. And oh, what a hit toss! I mean. Ed Kuehl is a former DCWL champion in his own way. He cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase on James Bond to win. So, I mean, Ed Kuehl is more than aware of what it takes to win in DCWL. And, wait a minute, I'm not taking over, but now, and oh! Full Nelson slam right on to Sora. And I mean, this match could go either way. Sora is the smaller of the two. But, I mean, oh, big bicycle kick sending Sora down and out. 
But I mean, Sora has been impressive in NCWL. He's even won the title once or twice. I can't remember how many, but so I mean, both of these men are champions. In their own right. Oh, what a drop right to the gonads. Like I said, referee discretion. The referee doesn't care about low blows and out of drop. I mean, whoever wins this, they have to know that they're walking into a tough challenge. And now, all oh, dropping right on the leg with all their weight. And now, grabbing them and going behind in. That full once again, that full Nelson slam right there. That grabs him and, wait a minute. Oh, I think he was going for a roll up from a Hurricane Ron. And, and Sora said no and just power blocked him. Wasn't going to repeat the same mistake that Shaq did. And now, dropping around the leg. Oh, what a punch right in the face. Dropping the elbow right on the, the leg. And oh, what a super kick. Sending, sending Ed Kill down and out. Hit, and now, wait a minute. Oh, no. Didn't work. And now, wait a minute. Once again. Oh, belly to belly suplex. Elbow drop. Running elbow drop with that. And now. Wait a Irish whip reversal and sitting in the middle. Ed Kuehl is taunting. Ed Kuehl is a cocky son of a bitch. As well, he's like Hadouken in that regard. And. I mean, Ed Kuehl has been known to do some low-down, despicable things and ruin people's moments in order to get his way. And I mean, one can't know what he would do to Thanos to try to get ahead. And now, grab them and... Wait, nope. Turn that around. And now, grab them. And a bicycle kick reversed. And now... Oh, another hit right there. Grabs him in, Irish whip, and throwing him over the head. And Ed Kuehl is just really working. And now, oh, he's trying to knock him off and he missed it. And now, Chops, sort of throwing his moves at him and now dropping all the weight on his leg. I mean, I would say Ed Kuehl has been doing pretty well in this matchup so far. And now that Irish whip was countered in there. Now, wait a minute. Oh, barging his leg right into the, the sternum of, of Sora. And he's just sitting down. Now, wait a minute. What's he doing? I think he's calling for it. He's calling for the Kuehl kick. He does it. He's going for it. Yes, the Kuehl kick. This could be it. The kill kick was hit. One, two, three. Two, three. Pinball. And Ed Kuehl has won. And he's going to be going on to Hardcore Resurrection to fight Thanos. And God may bless his soul. Because he's going to have an uphill battle taking on that Titan. For the Titan Championship. But what a good back and forth match. And he got... He bears to hit the kill kick sending Sora down. But yeah. Remember, goodbye 